everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back if you're a viewer and hello if you're a new viewer. In today's video, we're going to be repotting this tiny little blood engine silver sword. I'll insert a clip of where it is living right now. And yeah, so I basically got this little silver sword at Lowe's, I believe. Yeah, Lowe's. Or, I'm not going to believe this, $2.99. $2.99. So I said $2.99, but I meant not, to say $2.99. It, it came in like a tiny, tiny pot, and they're like two inch program, I think. Mm. Yeah, it's not doing too well. That's why I'm repotting it and giving it a moss pole. So, you can see it had these. Now, I'm not going to say big. I'm not going to say big, but big for this plant. This is what a mature silver sword looks like. I also got this one at Home Depot for 20 bucks at this size. But I put it on a moss pole. And it's grown this leaf right here. Okay, so hopefully this one can do the same. So first off, what we'll need is a bigger pot that does not have drainage holes. And that's why I got my trusty tool, the soldering iron. Do not, I say do not burn yourself with this. It hurts bad. So first, there is a little water at the bottom of this pot, so you might hear some sizzling. I'm just gonna poke a hole in the top. Poke a couple holes in it. I'll show you. There is a lot of smoke coming off of this, so you should wear a mask, but I'm not. Poke a couple holes in there. Just like so. Oop, almost slipped and burned myself. Now, it's optional, but I like to put a side drainage hole on each side of the pot. So you, have, you can make your own see-through pots, but I normally get my see-through pots at B&B Barnes in Asheville, so, but I don't have any at the moment. So yeah, that should do the trick. Let me just turn this off before I burn my house down. And let's get started on the repot. Okay. And we'll also need some of my aeroid mix, which will be which will be linked in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. So yeah. Tiny pot. I like to get all this water retaining disaster soil out and replace it with some nice aeroid mix. This is the best I could do because there's so much roots if I keep doing this I'll rip them. I already did rip some, so yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna use this moss pole to pin. First, I'm going to measure the moss pole with the pot. So the moss lines pretty much right, the moss lines pretty much right at the end, the rim of the pot. So I still have this, I left this empty because I'm gonna fill this up with aerid mix. And we'll be good to go. First off, I'm gonna get a little zip tie. Well, it's not a zip tie, it's just when I make the moss poles, I zip tie it together, but then I cut off the zip tie, the end of the zip tie, so I have this. Here, I'll show you how I use this to pin the plant to the moss pole. First, I put a line up to the moss pole. Okay. 
Hold on a second. Okay, bear with me for a moment. I'm trying to figure this out. Circles. Got it. Oh. Got it. So, it actually holds the plant quite nicely. Let me show you. So, I used this cable tie end right here to secure it to the moss pole in the pretty secure. Now I'm going to fill the back of this, flip it over, fill it up with some Aeroid Mix. Just my normal chunky blend. It's always linked in the description. I'm going to take the plant off real quick. Spill it on. Can't get all bit messy. So that's why I'm using my trusty repotting mat that my grandma gave me. So now I'll repin the plant back on. It's gonna be quite tricky. Because it's upside down. Struggling to put pin this plant to my moss pole. Yeah, that should do the trick. Now I'm going to take my pot, takeaway container, of course, flip it on. Pretend that didn't happen. Screw the pin. Put this on. Put it to the back of the moss pole. Flip it on over. Now I'm gonna put the plant in the pot. I'll pin it on later. Don't you worry. And just, I'll put the plant on later. Just fill it up. Halfway with the right mix. This is probably too big of a pot for this plant, but it's what I got. Okay, now I'm putting the plant on finally. Gonna try to weave the aerial roots that are already on this into the moss pole so we can get a head start. Normally, when I put the zip tie on, it works out like a charm, but this time, oh, I know why this zip tie end is too short. Ooh. Another one over here, I'll get it. That's better. Okay, this is a lot bigger than what I previously had. So this should be better. Put this on. I'll put this on and I will be good to go to fill it back up. Now I'm going to top it up with some of my air mix. And again, if you're interested, my Arid mix and what I put in it, it's going to be linked in the description below. 
like in every single video that I have, after this one, I just created that video. I'm gonna take off this leaf right here because it's in the way of the moss pole, so. Whee! Now I'm gonna finally pin it, it on. Okay. And that pretty much sums up this video. Please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and a nice comment. And I'll see you in the next video.